mixture of fuel and air into the cylinders. But calculating that mixture these days has to be left up to a microprocessor, the thinking side of the engine. The, um, the problem's between three and four, isn't it? Yeah, between three and four and a half. Being able to change the parameters of the injection system in a race car is very useful. New engine components like exhaust extractors or camshafts alter the performance of the car and the injection system has to be tailored to suit. In a road car with factory fuel injection, this process is sealed. It's set to work adequately in a broad range of driving conditions. But the problem is, you never know what your system is thinking, and you certainly can't change its mind. Many drivers have dreamt about the possibility of being able to change the tuning of their car to suit driving conditions. Well now, EFI Technology, the same company that uh, does the programmable fuel injection for the Holden Racing Team, have come up with a system to do it for the family car, whether it's fuel injected like this one or not. By using an EEPROM in the fuel injection computer, that's an electrically erasable, programmable, read-only memory, a host computer can be hooked up to the engine and all the management information is then displayed on the screen. Sensors record information like engine revs, manifold pressure, inlet air temperature, coolant temperature and throttle position. The fuel delivery curve is also displayed in 1000 RPM blocks. And it's here that the home handyman can start fiddling. For example, if you're like thousands of people who crawl through traffic jams to work, you could alter your fuel delivery curve to run with very little fuel in the mixture up to, say, 3,000 RPM. It'd be a poor performer, but only at low speeds in heavy traffic. On the other hand, this sluggish crawler would use very little fuel. But for heavy loads, say if you're towing, why not go for extra power with more fuel in the mixture at higher rev ranges? It'll cost you more, but you won't make any enemies by travelling at snail's pace on the open road. You can program any number of discs like these with different settings. And with the laptop computer, you can literally change the performance characteristics of the car at the roadside. It's a bit more difficult than putting air in the tyres, but then for those of us who know what we're doing, it's a snack.